Hi, thanks for viewing this video. We're in Singapore, and this is Cancer 101, the fundamentals of cancer. All right, today I want to talk about something <clears throat> called median survival time. And, uh, and that's something that's used in cancer a lot, and I want to explain why. Uh, it may sound a bit confusing because this word median, uh, you know, people aren't sure what it is. It's, a, it's some kind of average, seems to have something to do with a measure of the center of data somehow. And so let me explain why they use it in cancer. The problem with cancer is that most people die. And, uh, well, I shouldn't say most people die. That, it varies widely depending on the type of cancer you have, of course. But in medical studies, clinical trials, which are studies designed to find better ways to treat cancer patients, the patients are often, have been through many treatments, have had uh, numerous recurrences and so forth, and so they're often in a situation where it's likely that they're going to pass away in six months or a year or two years or something like that. So when you do a clinical trial for cancer, uh, if you wanted to take the average and say you had 20 patients, you would have to wait till every last patient died, right? In order to take an average, you'd have to know this one lived 10 months, and that one lived 12 months, and two of them lived 13 months, and, and so on. But wonder if the last couple of people end up living a very long time, like five years. Well, then you're going to have to wait five years until they pass away, and then you can finally take the average, and then you can finally pe uh, publish your medical study in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute, for instance. Well, people can't wait for that. So what they do is they use a median. And the median is where you have a group of data, say 20 data points, like 20 people in a clinical trial, and you're looking at how long they live uh, after their treatment. And what you do is you wait for the first 10 people to die. And after that, you know that that's the median. Sorry, you can hear the jets in Singapore here, uh, the Air Force flying across the sky. So let me pause this video for a second and let them fly because they're very noisy. Okay, I'm back. Those fighter jets are fun, but they're kind of noisy. I think they're American F-15 fighters that they use. In any case, um, this seems a bit morbid because we're talking about median survival time. But in fact, that's how they do it. And that's the reasoning behind why they use a, a median survival time as a measure of the center of the data as opposed to, say, the average, which is what we call the arithmetic mean, or the mode, which is another way of measuring center. In the rest of this, this video, I'm going to discuss median, or I'm sorry, arithmetic mean and mode just so you can learn about that too if you'd like, but the rest of it has nothing to do with cancer. It's more of a math discussion. Thank you. So if you go back to, uh, you know, math and maybe sixth grade, you learned about what we call m measures of center or what mathematicians call measures of center, essentially. If you have a huge number of data points, like let's say you have, uh, you, you measure the heights of all the sixth graders in your school, uh, say all the sixth grade boys, okay? And so you'd get some kind of average. You get a bunch of data points, maybe 40 or 50 or 60. And how do you deal with all those data points? It's hard to, you know, get something useful out of that. So the way we get something useful out of it is to simply look at the, some kind of average or measure of center. And the three different averages are the mean, the median, and the mode. Uh, hopefully that brings back a little bit of a dim memory of sixth grade uh, learning about these things. Uh, well, the uh, so let's talk about the mean. The mean is what we typically mean by average. That's how we do most things. Like we say, what's the average weight of uh, fourth grade girls in some class? What's the average weight in for fifth grade and sixth grade? And we see how they're growing over time. You know how their weight is increasing as they get as they grow up. And so it's a useful measure, and the way we do it is we simply add the numbers together, the different weights, and we divide by the number of people, the number of data points. So if we have the numbers uh, 2, 3, and 4, the way we average them is 2 plus 3 plus 4, and since there are three numbers, we divide it by 3 and we get some kind of average. Okay, That's actually called the arithmetic mean. There's also a geometric mean, but here we're talking about the arithmetic mean. 
the next thing uh, I want to talk about is mode. Mode is not used very often, although it is useful in some situations. And it's simply the number that repeats itself the most in a group of data. So if you have the numbers 2 and 2 and 2 and 3 and 5, the mode would be 2, simply because it's the number that's most often repeated. So that's kind of a strange measure of center, but it's, it's one that's occasionally used.